Sex is not love. Did you hear what I said? Sex is not love. You can actually be attracted to somebody physically and not be attracted to them emotionally. Especially you ladies. It is not everybody you are attracted to that you must date. Did you hear me? Sex is not love. Hold on. I'm going to break it down for you. Just chill. Difference between sex and love is orgasm. Sex, orgasm, love, understanding. It is not everybody you have sex with that you have to understand. A lot of women tend to feel that the moment they have sex with this person, they have to date the person. No, you don't have to. And that's why most of you complicate yourself and complicate your relationship. You can actually be physically attracted to people and not want to date them emotionally. It's like, you know, you like this thing. You don't like this thing. You just want to have it. You don't want to own it. Having something is different from owning it. Wanting something is different from needing it. You can want something so bad just for the pleasure of it, but you don't need it. That's what sex is like when you see somebody you like. You just want it at that point in time. But it's not a need. That thing you want can be poison to your mind. So wanting simply means it is temporary. You just want to enjoy it for that period of time. Why needing simp simply means that it is something you need. It is something that is, you know, very, very important in your life. So you need that thing. E.g. food, shelter, um, <clears throat> um, house. We have all the, the basic things that we need. Clothes to wear and all that. But when it comes, there are some people that have the physical attributes that you have that attract you, but they do not have the character. They do not have the emotions to actually keep you. That's why you can be attracted to a fine boy. By the time you get into a relationship, you cannot stay with a fine boy. He has absolutely nothing about, in fact, he's not going to where you are going. So the only thing he has is fine, which is that attraction. Those kind of people... If you cannot let them go, just enjoy it while it lasts and everybody goes their way. You must not date them. Some women now want to force themselves. Ah, because he's a fine boy. Because he's a beer guy. Because this guy, ah, the guy is too posh. <laughs> Make I manage. Uh, you don't manage such a thing. A lot of people can actually have what you want in their physical appearance, but they don't have it in character. And when you want to have sex, you can look at the physical appearance. That's where you see a woman with big nash, a woman with big breasts. Sometimes you just want to touch the breast and touch the nash. Sometimes you just wish that this woman with big breast and big nash has, has all the qualities you want in a woman. But unfortunately, sometimes those with big breasts and big nash don't have what you're looking for. What do you do? You enjoy yourself because you want it. After enjoying yourself, you go and look for people that have. Because when you are dating people, when you are going to marry people, you are not looking at what you want. You are looking at what you need. Because it's a longevity thing. It's a futuristic thing. And when you are looking at a futuristic thing, you are looking at something that will last. Because marriage and relationship is a long time. And marriage is for a lifetime. So you're not looking at something you want at that point in time. Because anything you want is something you're going to get tired of over time. But what you need is a necessity. You don't have a choice. You need it. You need food. You need shelter. You need those things. So it's a necessity. And I think that's where a lot of people make mistakes. They don't know how to choose. They do not know how to differentiate from what they want and what they need. When they see what they want, they now want to force it. Sometimes you're saying that this man is not the kind of person you want. This woman is not the kind of person you want. But because she has the physical attribute, you want to imbibe, you want to force it into her. That's not her. Ah, it's only sex so just have sex and just go and look for you can be lucky sometimes to see a complete woman that has all the physical attributes you want and have the character but sometimes it's not always like that <laughs> yeah god did not create everybody to be perfect it's not always like that so i'm here to tell every woman out there because i get this a lot in my office blessing no, no, no. my darling it's okay to be attracted to somebody physically but not emotional know when to draw the line the difference between a man and a woman is a man knows when to draw the line a man knows when it's just sex with this person a man knows when it's just relationship with this person but a woman anybody that comes into their life automatically is a husband i think that's the things you need to unlearn and relearn new things that you can actually be friends with people you can actually be attracted to people physically without being in an emotional relationship with them you don't owe everybody and eh? that's the problem you don't owe everybody i told you with these few points of mine i hope i've been able to convince you no one i love you guys